Hi, I'm Rev Myron. I'm a minister through Pathways of Light, and I've been A Course in Miracles student for 40 years. I'm going through the lessons today, asking Jesus to clarify for me, and then I'm writing from that clarity, and so that's what I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. I'm looking at lesson 149, which is one of the review lessons. The focus for this review is my mind holds only what I think with God. When I am healed, I am not healed alone. Heaven is a decision I must make. This review reminds me that when I accept healing, I do so for the entire sonship. My thoughts bless everyone with truth. I don't usually witness this, so it's easy to forget but I don't need to know where the blessing goes and who accepts it. And Jesus tells us this, the power of one mind can shine into another because all the lamps of God were lit by the same spark. It is everywhere and it is eternal. The ego is the idea of a personal mind separate from all other minds. When we believe that we're separate from each other, we tend to think of awakening as a personal journey. But we do not waken alone. Each step we take is shared by all. We each have a part to play, a piece in the puzzle, so to speak. But all pieces must fit together to be complete. To take these steps toward awakening, I must decide on heaven. I seem to be in the world because I decided this was the experience I wanted. Now I must make a new decision. This is a decision I make moment by moment. When I'm unhappy, I know that I made a decision for the world, but I can change my mind. In that moment, if I choose to do so, I can let go of the ego thought. I can ask the Holy Spirit to choose for me. The following is something I've shared before. I share it again because it was so helpful to me. This is a message I received from Spirit. This is a longer message than what usually happens. Generally, whenever I ask for um, help to understand something. Um, it's I maybe get a few sentences, but evidently my mind was very open to spirit that day. So here's, here's what happened. A few years ago, I discovered my brother was very sick. I experienced a lot of distress about this situation. When I talked to Jesus about it, this is a message that I received while in meditation. It helped me to make a decision for heaven. And by the way, my brother is fine now. So here's what the Holy Spirit said to me. Myron, the story will play out as it does, and your part will be made clear as it unfolds. Your only desire is to love completely and without conditions each person in the script. The ego believes your job is to defend yourself from death, inconvenience, and fearful situations. This is the ego's job as it sees it. And at one time, you thought it was your goal as well. You do not believe that now. And the wish to defend is just a shadow of an old belief. You will hear that shadow speak, but you will feel my presence beside you as you choose not to believe it. You are confused about how to pray about this and that frightens you. As you've done before, give all your concerns and fears to God and then allow him to enfold you in his peace and love. Allow yourself to be comforted by his certainty and his absolute love for you. Bring your brother into the cocoon of love that is you and your father. That is all he needs as well. Myron, do not concern yourself with the story. Make your decision for heaven by knowing there is no story that in any way negates God's creation of his perfect son. Suffering is not part of his plan for anyone and no story, however elaborate, can create what is not part of God. Yes, you can choose to experience something that feels like suffering, but you cannot be that. And when you decide differently, it will be as if nothing occurred because nothing occurred. Remember this, your thoughts are meaningless. You do not have to believe them. 
you have real thoughts, which are the thoughts you think with God. As you keep noticing your feelings and your thoughts about this situation, realize that there is something else for you to know. Look at the thought or the feeling and ask me for the thought that is true. Do not become attached to the meaning you have assigned to these thoughts. Be willing to discard the meaning you've given them so that you can approach them with empty hands and accept the truth instead. As you focus your mind more and more fully on the purpose of the story, you will not be distracted by the story. The story is fearful and sad only if you give it credence. If you allow your mind to dwell on the story itself, you will begin to assign meaning and expectations and will then experience disappointment, fear, and guilt. These effects are not caused by the story itself, but by the meaning you give it. Continue to choose to look with me instead. Decide for heaven, Myron, in this as in all things. That is the purpose of time. Thank you for sharing this review lesson with me. If you found it helpful, then please like it. And if you haven't yet subscribed, and I will be back tomorrow with another lesson.